All right, guys, in this video, we're going to do a quick versus of the TRS Pyro Plasma Lighter versus the Bic Lighter. Let's jump in. All right, guys, so let's jump in and take a quick look at the comparison between the TRS Pyro and the Bic Lighter. Now, as we all know, Bic has been one of our, you know, go-tos for most anything when it comes to combustion or options for lighting fires and so forth. Always a good option to have with you. One of the things that, as we know, is coming out lately is new plasma lighters. And that's what this TRS Pyro is, is a specifically a, a dual cross arc plasma lighter. So we'll get into some of the details. First and foremost, as we look at weight, Bic definitely from a weight perspective is light. And that's uh, 0.8 ounces for the Bic. And for the TRS Pyro, ends up being around 1.8 ounces without the lanyard or about 2 ounces with the lanyard attached. As we look at the fuel options, fuel for a BIC, of course, we know is butane. Now, the good and the bad to the BIC lighters as you buy them, they are not refillable. There are options and you can find different hacks on uh, YouTube and ways to be able to refill these potentially and ways around that. But for the most part, they're not refillable based on just how they're currently set up. The nice thing about the plasma lighters, whether it be this one or other options that are on the market, is that they're all electronic. So there is no fuel specifically in them other than the electric battery or charge that it takes to actually power them. So the benefit of that is that you technically don't run out of power if you have some other way of charging them, whether it be a backup battery pack, solar power, other ways to be able to recharge these as you get into that fuel capability. And now some of the other capabilities based on the comparison between the two, once you run a fuel on the BIC, you don't have a whole lot of options, but it does at least have the sparker. Okay? And that's one of the things that does give you that option. As we know that we can use that for still starting fires with just the flint and the steel spark, that you can use that from a combustion perspective. Now, again, on the TRS, if you run out of fuel or if you can't power it, then there's not really a whole lot to allow you to use it for combustion purposes. Now, with that said, there are a couple things on this one in particular, and there are, are others on Amazon, and I'll create a link down below that are very similar to this. And the one thing that I do like about this is it does come with a flashlight. So it provides not only a option for fire starting, but also provides an option for lighting or candlelight as one of the other 10 C's of survival. And and gives you that possibility as well. Now again, it's not gonna be the brightest one, but it does give you three options for bright, low, and then flashing for signaling. So from that perspective, again, there are capabilities between the two of them. If all I'm looking for is just for combustion, the BIC is definitely a great option because it still gives me the spark for a time frame at least. Again, eventually that will go away as well. So if I run out of fuel here, I can still use it potentially for starting fires for a time. But again here, if I run out of fuel or I don't have a way to recharge this, then it doesn't give me any other options for combustion options. Now, as we also look at some of the other capabilities, water resistant wise, right? If I drop this into a river or a pond or something, as long as it's not too deep and I can retrieve it, once it dries out, it should be able to work pretty well. This one, similarly, as long as, again, as long as it's not submersed in water for too long, what they have done is actually created a nice little um, seal around it. The material on itself is kind of that rubber material we talked about. This seal kind of helps pull that lid shut. And once the seal is actually open, there is actually a little bit of a rubber gap around the edge of this to be able to seal that for waterproof. Now again I wouldn't submerge it in water for a long time frame but it would give you at least an option if you drop it out of your pocket into a river or stream as you're crossing things or whatever that may be right. If you get a downpour of rain you shouldn't have any issues with this causing a problem. Now if it does get submerged in, a, in water potentially with the lid open if it gets wet or super wet with the lid open there is a potential for it to be able to short itself out things like that that you'll have to be considered of based on that type of situation okay, as we get into windproof now we know bic lighters again are not very windproof so if you're trying to start a fire in a windy situation this is not going to work real well versus the pyro or again any of these type of plasma lighters one of the benefits of these is that it is windproof because of that arc lighting capability the wind's not going to blow that out and that's one of the benefits of these arc lighters 
So if I look at best options, the option for me would be to carry one of each of these. Um, it gives me capabilities in different ways and gives me a dual capability for starting fires. And that's something we always talk about as well. Um, kind of that philosophy of two is one and one is none, right? So if all I have is one of these and something happens, I drop it, I break it, I can't use it, then I'm really out of uh, luck with being able to have that capability. But if I have two of these or if I have two options and I lose one of them, I still have a second option as a backup. So that philosophy has always been key when we get into kind of the preparedness, self-reliance, and survival situation is two is one and one is none. So when possible, you want to have multiple options for some of those key things that you always want to have available to you from a self-reliance and emergency preparedness survival situation. All right, guys, thanks again for joining us for this video where we did a quick comparison between a Bic lighter and a plasma lighter. Please hit that thumbs up and that like and subscribe button. Please check out our other videos on the channel and specifically look at our playing with fire video that talks about combustion options as well.